Hello, everybody. Uh, this is quite overwhelming. I'm not usually on the stage, and my role is behind the scenes. But there is something this evening that does need some clarification and explanation. You have the program and you have the program notes and everything is self-explanatory. But the first piece, the piece by Osvaldo Golichov, is the piece which we attach the most significance to and the piece which we feel makes the entire concert meaningful. It's not Mozart or Beethoven. Don't expect harmonies and great pleasure. Golichov wrote the dreams and prayers of Isaac the Blind in 1995, and having written it, he realized it was an epic work covering the entire history of the Jewish people, from, and speaking in three languages for the three movements. The first movement speaks Aramaic at the time of Abram. The second movement speaks Yiddish during the days of the shtetl and exile and the Holocaust. And the third movement speaks in Hebrew. Tonight, they will be playing the second movement, the Yiddish-speaking movement. As we all know, this is a dark and tragic time in our history, and you will hear the fear and the pain and the sadness. There are some rays of light, but they are few and far between. Musically speaking, the contribution of this piece is the fusion between classical music and klezma, which had not been done before this. My mind goes blank. Um, the music is led by the clarinet, which takes the lead, and we hear through the clarinet all the milestones of Jewish life, of birth and bar mitzvah and marriage and death. The other instruments don't necessarily harmonize, but they express emotions. Um, the piece begins with the hesitating pulse, the erratic, erratic heartbeat of a dying man. I call on, ah, and for this piece, I'm very grateful because it has brought Dr. Anna Rosnowski back to the stage where she hasn't played for 11 years. But on deciding to do this piece, she's playing with the kids. La Vie on the clarinet, Ronnie on the violin, Manya at the piano, Anna with the violin. <laughs> 